Hello everybody, Mohamedi here. It's Saturday, hope you guys are having a beautiful weekend. I'm making this video as a, as a third video follow-up of the sequence that I'm doing for Crypto Without Risk members. The first one that I did, I'll walk you through how you can get your exclusive uh, template with the, your coupon code. And the second video, what I did was I walk you through how to install your template on your website. And in this video, what I'm going to do is uh, walk you through what a few things that you need to do as soon as you upload, uh, install your template and your website is live. And after that, walk through some customization and some editing of the template as well. So you can have more familiarity with your uh, with your template. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get going. It's going to be interesting. So you should see my screen. And as always, I have a PDF that I'm also going to attach. And what this PDF does, it shows us, you know, pretty much everything that, that I'm going to cover on this call and whatever resource you need and the step by steps that you can follow as well. The first thing that we're going to do is you know, as soon as you uh, install your website, uh, your template, you want to make sure that your website is secure. And I made a short video about it on uh, on uh, on SiteGround specifically. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing right here, so you can pretty much see. It. So I just uploaded a fresh uh, a fresh WordPress account on my uh, a fresh WordPress template on this URL here, crypto secret investor you're gonna see this url come up a lot in my videos that's the one i use mostly so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna uh go ahead and log into my to my uh boom, 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 my wp admin this is crypto secret investor and i'm gonna go ahead and add my plugin the tau team plugin the tau team plugin if you Install your website with SiteGround. You're going to see these plugins here. It's just there. You don't have to activate it. Does there have certain reason? If you have, for instance, this activated, like the optimizer activated, it kind of blocks you from uh, sharing data, like presenting data on your website from third party platform. So if you have installed the template and your ticker is not working, chances are that you have the SiteGround optimizer, optimizer activated by mistake. As soon as you deactivate that, you should be able to see your ticker. So we're going to get into that. So what I'm going to do, I want to go ahead and install my Tau Team plugin. I'm going to go to Upload Plugin. Meantime, let me go back to my Tau Team account, install the plugin, download the plugin, and come back here. Oh, where is it? I have a lot of windows here. And close few so avoid confusion. Yeah. So I put this all the way back here. Uh -uh. Yeah, all the way back here. So I don't have to go back to it. So I downloaded my plugin here. I'm just gonna drag it and drop install installation. It takes a couple of seconds. Install activating plugin and it's activated. So and I'm gonna come in here and log in. So I'm going to log into my uh, Tower Theme account here in my plugin and go ahead and install the template. I want to install the gold, uh, the crypto template. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard, active template. And this is the one that is not installed yet. I'm just copy, copy the key and go paste it. I just decided to do this live here so, you know, we can kind of refresh the installation if anybody's watching this video for the first time and they haven't installed their, their, their template as well, they'll be able to, you know, just benefit from this section. It takes a couple of, couple of few minutes, like one minute at most to download, uh, install your template. So now it's install and I'm going to go view my website. This is my website, Secure Investment Insider. Right, this is how it was before. Oh, I did it. Like, this is how it was. Oh, no. Ah, I don't have it open. So I wanted to show you the preview and refreshing. But okay, here we have just install our template, our crypto template. What is the next step that we should do? 
first thing let's go back to our sheet here number one make your website secure we're going to make our website secure as you can see here it says it's not secure it's not secure and you don't want that to be seen on your website and if you're using SiteGround, you just have to go back to the to uh, to the website here click on site tools site tools and you're gonna go to security here security you're gonna see SSL manager click on it to see it's activated it's active and the next thing you want to do do is go to HTTPS enforce and you're gonna click on here to enforce it so now it's like success this is HTTPS enforce for crypto secret investor.com and we're gonna go back and check it out all right we're just going to refresh it and we're going to see the secure this is going to go away now it's secure so this is how you secure your 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 website if you're using SiteGround, and it's pretty much the same way if you're using any other hosting that provide you an ssl secure uh certificate as part of your hosting and if they don't you need to uh, purchase it separately and communicate with support on that uh, on that hosting platform and they will help you set it up the next thing is how do you edit your website so pretty much this is we have built this template with beaver builder all templates on our theme are built on beaver builder very easy to edit everything is right on your face and you to edit your website you just click above here right you click above here over over the beaver builder section and you're going to see the set uh the section if you want to edit something in the home you can edit you click on here you want to edit something on the footer you click on here you want to edit something in the header you click on here for instance if we click on the header what we're going to see we're going to see the header edits no thanks the header edits so you're going to see these two logos right this is for mobile if you're on mobile this is the header the logo that's going to show and if you're on a desktop, this is the logo that's going to show. So you can just update, update this. You know, if you want to change your logo, you just go on here and edit. You click on edit and you replace it with your logo and save. And you can pretty much you do the same thing also here. Remove, edit. It's going to open, allow you to use another, use another, another the other logo. And here next thing this is the menu bar menu bar this is the menu bar you have here and you can update it you have quick links and menu bar this is the menu bar that have been that you have available in your back end right and in the, your menu section and we're going to go through that as well so you can see how to change those those uh here so right now the menus available right now is your header menu and your quick links Quick links is those ones here, the ones that you have here. So right now we want the header menu, it's good. Right, layout, horizontal, I, sub menu icon. If you wanna add an icon for sub menu, you can do that. But you don't need to do none of that. Another thing that you wanna change is your social media platform, platforms, right? So you're gonna edit, you have those here and add events. Do, do, do. Now, I know the links you can edit like this is just for the icons you can edit the icons and in the inside you'll be able to edit uh yet yeah, you can edit the links here as well so you can replace the icon and add the links so for example this is your facebook link you can put your facebook link and and that's pretty much it and you do the same for every single one of the other icon if you want to edit your Twitter link, you add your Twitter link here. And if you want to add, change the icon, you can change the icon with another Twitter icon, right? And this is this is screen reader text. If you want to add screen reader text, something that is not going to show, but if you somebody is using a screen reader, like somebody is impaired, they can use screen reader to read your website. So here you replace your Instagram icon and boom your headers you have your header all figured out you updated your icons and you 
you did pretty much everything here. If you want to edit the home page, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. But while we are here, I want to show you something else that is in the header. So this is you have uh, this is your your ticker your ticker. So right now it's not showing. You just downloaded it. It's not showing. Let's say we're going to save here. Let's say we did the edits that we want to edit. What I always like to do, I would copy this and you see it's you see your ticker showing everything is live while you're in the editor. Sometimes if you're using SiteGround, you have like what I was telling you recently, if you're using another another uh, another hosting account, you should be fine, right? So right now it's showing your ticker is showing and everything is good. But for some reason, if your ticker is not showing, you just need to uh, check on your plugins. There is a side ground most of the time automatically activate few plugins. And I'm going to show you what those, plugin, those plugins are. And oh my God, they asked me to log in. We log in. So I'm logging back in. So if you go to plugin, to install plugin, you have the side ground, the side ground optimizer plugin. Sometimes they automatically activate it. You know, if they automatically activate it, it, it it's pretty much stop you from getting pulling in third party content like the ticker that we have on on this template. So this might prompt your ticker to not show, but if you remove this, if you deactivate it you should be able to see your ticker. And if for some reason you deactivate it and you're still not seeing it, what you wanna do is you just go back to your to your, to your side ground. And what you're gonna do is go to speed, cache, and you're, go, you're gonna go to dynamic cache and pretty much clean up your cache. If you clean up your cache uh, and just refresh, you're gonna be able to see your website and your th ticker live up and running. So here we have our template. We figure out how to edit the everything above. Let's try to let's work on everything in the inside here as well. So let me go back to my dashboard view site. Right. So if I want to edit something in the home page itself, I can do that. Right. So these are sections that we have built as part of the template. You can remove any of these sections if you want to. If you want to remove these sections here, you can remove it, right? You can click on here and remove this section and just click on the X here to remove it. If you want to remove this section also, the recent article section, you can remove it. Or if you want to change the title, you can change the title to anything else, right? You can change the title you want to make an H2 or H1, you can do that as well here, right here. You can do, you can, you can take this out as well. So pretty much you can over, over any or any single one of this and you can remove it and move it around, set it up the way you want to set it up. If you want to move this down and move this up, you could do that as well. You know, you want to remove it all black, like this all black, you want to remove it, you can remove it. So that's like a few stuff about the editing editing portion. So let's talk about, you know, like making this website specific to what you want to like what you want to do. These are pages that we have set up. Let me get out of the editor. These are pages that we are, we have set up and those pages are filters, right? Filters that you know show specific type of article with specific tagging on specific categories, right? but you might not need a resource. You might not have articles that you want to tag as resource or blockchain or reviews or press release, right? So what you, and you want to change this, you have two options, right? You can pretty much go to the homepage and you can pretty much go back in your dashboard and go to pages or page and delete all pages. We can have, we can have that option, delete all the pages, right? So let me, Take, go do that so you can see. I have another plan behind it, but you can go delete all the pages, right? But bef 
or you can delete all the pages or and build everything up back from 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 the ground or you can leverage the pages that is already up and just edit edit them right if you want to edit the pages that is already up how you you can go to just go to edit here right like the block blockchain you want to edit this page and let's say you want this is your website let me go back just pull it out here You want to change uh, blockchain for uh, let's start with resource. We're going to go in order, not all over the place. Let's say you want to change resource. You want to have home, crypto. Let's say you're going to use the same uh, template for gold. You can put this gold and you can see you can have this as reviews and you can have this as let's say what else you can add this for comparison, for instance. Right. So you want to have gold, crypto. A review page and a comparison page if that's the style that you want and you can have any page i'm just giving those examples right and that's what we're going to go ahead and change as us so let's go back to our pages we're going to start in order with the first one which is resource right we're going to edit resource and we're going to make that crypto for instance crypto crypto so it's now it's going to be crypto we're gonna to go to our permalink here and change our perma, our slug and put crypto. So now it's gonna be crypto investment insider for slash crypto investment insider for uh no crypto secret investor for slash crypto. So that's done. And if you wanna add a specific feature page for that page, uh, feature image for that page, you can do that. All right? Let me go ahead and try and and do that for instance. Okay. Now here, I'm going to put something in the, in the media files, something about crypto. I can just choose, choose this as, hey, I want this to be my crypto, you know, page feature, feature image, right? And I'll go ahead and update that. It's updated. Now, if I go back here and refresh, I see now this is crypto. But it's crypto, but the criteria in the inside haven't changed. It's still going to show the filters of the uh, of articles that have, you know, resources as a, a tag, right? So if we go to this article, for instance, I'm going to open this article here and go to edit, edit posts. Just want to show you guys the category sections, right? So if you go to categories, you see it's tagged as resource. It's tagged as resource here. Right, it's tagged as resource. That's what it's showing on the resource section. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we we wanna go update our category, right? So if I wanna add a new category, wanna add a new category here called crypto. Crypto. If there is not not one already, and you can add the categories for to all the to all. So I added in a crypto category, and I want this specific article to be shown on my crypto category, right? So we we did that, and we're gonna just update, right? This article is now gonna no longer gonna show on the resource section. It's gonna be only shown on the crypto category filter section. Now, right now we don't have any filter for crypto, but let's go look at the article. This is the article and let's go back to crypto. You, you see the article is still, it's not, not here because this is the resource section, right? The resource filter, but the article that we just published that we just updated, right? It's no longer on the resource section. So we know this page is about crypto. Crypto investment in uh, secret crypto secret investor.com forward slash crypto. So we're going to make sure that everything in the inside now is crypto. So we're going to go ahead and edit the page crypto. Right. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to change this to crypto. And we can make this a H1 or H2. Let's say we decide to make it an H1. So we change it to crypto and this is 
the interesting part. You know that all these articles that we have here is articles that came from the filter, the filter, uh, the, from the filter crypto, uh, from the filter resource, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go change the filter here on this section. You're gonna go to query, query, you see source, query, main query, I'm gonna go down how it's, you know, how the order of the article is set up, descendant, layout. You're gonna go to filter label, category, match these categories, right? You see here, it says resource. We're gonna click that out and we're gonna put crypto. Crypto, this is the new category that we just created. So we're gonna save and all this stuff gonna go away and the article we just published show is the only thing that is here. So it's crypto, right? So this page here, we know this page is only about articles that we decide to tag about crypto. And you can do the same thing for like gold, for instance, right? And this on the next window, you can do that for gold. But in the meantime, we're gonna change something else here, right? We can decide to have all recent articles show up, show, show up here. But, you know, let's say we have the homepage pretty much, right? And the homepage is gonna have the, uh, the recent articles, right? The recent article is gonna be in the homepage right here because we have it here, but we have that filter on the homepage. But on the crypto page, we certainly may not want to have that specific filter here. So, and we wanna set up a different filter. So we can go here and decide to change the filter and put this as crypto review, reviews, right? So we can, we can add an extra filter that we call crypto reviews. Views, uh, review. Uh, reviews, crypto reviews. So this is our new, new, uh, new filter, right? We want to set that up as crypto reviews, right? We change the text on top and now we're going to go here and change the, the query. The query all posts, we're just gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Uh, filter, right? Category, match this category, resources, important slash, right? We can move this and we can put crypto review. Review, right? Crypto reviews. Boom, so it's not found yet. We don't have that specific category yet. So let me just go, I'm gonna leave this and go here and add that category, right? So I can just pick up any post here and just edit, edit the post. Edit post, click on single post page. Yeah, if I wanna edit it inside, but I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna edit the post because I wanna get access to the uh, resource category section here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a new category. New category, the name is crypto reviews. Crypto reviews, add new category. And we're gonna go back to our page here. Crypto reviews, uh, there you go. Crypto reviews is now here and I can save, boom. There is nothing, no crypto reviews as of now yet. But if there is an article that we set up as crypto review, we're gonna see it here. So what I'm gonna do here is click on here and, and you know, like I can go back and on the specific post. Let me just find a random post on the on the website as of now. Where are we? Okay. Let me go back here. I'm gonna go back here and pick up a random article here. For instance, this article is gonna be the, the, the altcoin review, right? So we're gonna come here and we're gonna edit this post and we're gonna change the categories, right? Right now it's uh, it's marked as popular article, this, this. I'm gonna mark this as crypto review, right? And boom. So now I can go, oh, no, let me go back to, 
my crypto page, right? This is my crypto page and I set this up as crypto review. Let me say I'm done with the saving that I, uh, the editing that I did. And I'm gonna refresh it. You're gonna see the new article that we just you know updated is going to show up on here, right? So now we have the altcoin, what, uh, what they are and how they work, right? That's the same article that we just, you know, uh, the same article that was just, you know, editing somewhere here, right? Where is it? In one of these windows. Yep, this one, right? It's the one that we just, we just add the new categories, crypto review. And now we are on the page and it is, this is showing. So you can decide to keep this, you know, in the crypto section, right? Because this is crypto, you can have this here in the crypto page. And let's say you, you know, this is done. You want to do the same for the gold. You can do that as well, right? So you're going to have all your crypto articles, crypto that you have tagged with articles. You can have them, a lot of them here. And you can have the review style here, right? So this is one layout. The layout on the you know, on these pages, right, where the articles are all in line, like here, like if you go to blockchain, you see like where the articles are all in line. If you feel like, okay, I like the layout on the homepage, for instance, right? On the homepage, I like the layout where we have one article forefront and all the, the second in the articles, the rest of the article just follows up. You can go ahead and do that as well. And what you can do is you just go to your dashboard Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to pages. You know, I, I like the home page layout, right? That's what I like. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the home page. So I'm duplicating the home page here and I'm going to have copy of the home page. Right. So I'm going to just say I'm done and I'm going to see on my pages as an extra home page copy. Right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit. I'm going to edit it. And make this like my gold page gold right gold and i'm gonna come to my permalink here and update and put gold right and if i want to have add a feature image for this specific page i can add a feature image as well something about gold so and i'm gonna publish right now i have a gold page as well I can view the page. This is my gold page, Crypto Investment Insider for slash gold. It has the home page layout, right? With all the different sections. So what I can do is I'm gonna go back to my menu here because that's why we wanna take blockchain out and we wanna put the gold there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my, my menus, all right? Go to your drop down. you're gonna see menus. And this is the current menu that we have, this is the footer menu. We wanna select the header menu. This is my header menu here. I, I select it and it's gonna update. This is what I have in the header now. And what I wanna do, I wanna remove the blockchain, right? And I wanna put the, the gold. Now I added my gold page, right? Add to menu. I added my gold page and I'm gonna move it right next to crypto. And, you know, I don't care much about, I wanna remove this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the blockchain out of it, right? And I'm saving the menu, right? I'm saving the menu. The menu is save, saved up. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just come back here and refresh, refresh my page. Now I have crypto, I have gold, right? And after that, now I have gold. Gold have the same layout of the home, uh, uh, as the home page, and certainly the same filters that I have in the home page, right? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go to my gold page. I wanna set up the filters now. So I'm gonna go to edit gold, right? Edit gold, and I'm gonna come here and put gold reviews. Gold. company company reviews so I can set this up as gold company reviews right h2 we will make it h1 
and I'll save. And now we have Gold Company reviews. If it's big, I'm gonna make an H2 to fit perfectly fine. It did that and it's called reviews, right? And I can change the, uh, I have the option of change, going to style, changing the font. If you wanna use a different font, you can use a different font. If you wanna use style, you can pretty much change anything. You can even change the text of the color of the text to match your preferences, right? So now this is going to be all gold company reviews. And here, what we want to do is we have this. This is a carousel that's going to be flipping, right? If you're on the home page, you see it flips. So what you can do here, we're going to edit this now, right? So we want to go to query, what type of query? We have a specific filter that we have set up here. The filter here in the home page, it shows our latest articles, right? Because the home page, it makes up everything, all the... All, all the latest articles all goes to your to your last page, right? Uh, your latest post because you want, always want your website to look brand new. Every time you post something, it's going to come straight in the and in, in here. So what you can do, you can decide, OK, I want I want this to be our latest latest gold company, gold gold post, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to add that category. So, you know, we don't have that category. So I need to go add the category, like the same, th same thing that I did before. Go to a random post. I'm just going to add a new category. Add a new category. And I'm going to type in gold. Gold. New post, right? New post, for instance. New gold latest post. Letters. Post. Latest. Okay. Latest. Latest. Late. Yes. Letters post. Oops. Oops. Typo. I forgot that typo. That, that right. Just with everything in minimal. Letters post. Gold letters post. Right. So I'm going to save that, save that category as well. So when I come back here, where are we? When I come back here, I can just go category, match this category, gold, latest, post. Right. And I save. Now, if I want to add any other tag, you can pick up some tags also, but we don't have any other tag here. Right. If you want it for a specific from a specific author, you can do that also here, right? But we're not selecting none of those filters. So we updated it. Now the main thing on top is gone because we don't have any articles about that yet, right? And here, this is the second option, the second section, custom queries, right? So you you can set up another another type of filter here. What do we have here? Da -da -da. Filter category. There is no category filter here. You can set this up as a, specific, as a specific category. Let me see. No filter. So there is no specific filter. It just shows some, you know, like article, recent articles as well, right? So if you want to categorize this with something else, you can just use the same thing. Latest goal post, and we save that as well. So now it's it's filtered. Let me see. It's make sure it's filtered. Later is filter. Gold later post. This is the category matching this, matching that, and we save. So none of this is going to show because we updated it. So we're gonna go to done, publish, and we're gonna update. Okay, this one is still showing. Let's see. Why is this still showing? We figure out what the main filter is about. It's coming. This is general. Let's see. Da -da -da. Default grid. Query. Type post pages. Those are post. Post count two. Post date. Short by post date. Okay, so the post date, descendant, date ascendant. This is like about the layout. 
and filter all filter filter label let's change the filter label to gold gold post let's see filter label let's see <laughs> I want to make sure the video is not long enough so I did not want to go through a lot of details but we are here I feel like this is going to give a lot of people clarity on what to set up so let's this is not let's put back this all and continue do not match this post this is like the filter section we have this all match these categories right so we gotta just put match these categories right we select match these categories and we selected match goal later latest post so now if somebody's on this page they're gonna see the big picture in the front and the uh the small picture in the back like the two two section two post section and those are going to be all about recent goal posts right and this is a filter for gold company reviews right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep this page, right? So you can do the same thing. This is one way to do it. Let me just up done, push I'm done here. This is one way to do it, right? So you know all your crypto content is going to show up here. But if you want to con conserve the main, right now it's going to show up as this, right? No, not as this, but as, you know, as you guys saw it was before, right? Where all the the content is like all in line like a lot of these all in in a file compared to the home page where you have this 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 layout right maybe this layout is very preferable for you right so that's what we did with the goal but what we did we just changed our filtering to make sure that it filters only things that we wanted to have right and you can pretty much do the same thing you can set up another filter here maybe you decide okay this is gold comparison gold gold company comparison here and you can post your article set up the filter to show all articles that are about gold comparisons right and you can do the same in here maybe you want to show more gold gold news you select this filter you update this to gold news and you just post those are like basic gold news right and this is if you're doing press releases, you can just have this as gold press releases. So the layout is, you know, very, you know, like fluent, like fluid. You can set it up the way you want, uh, whatever way you like to display a specific type of information. Hope this portion was really clear. I wanted to do this in a section in a video, especially, but it's part of the sequence. So I decided to just do it here and, you know, with, with more time, with like, you can watch it, pause the video and just go follow the steps and you're going to see everything is very easy to edit and go through. Right. So let's go to our we, we've got sidetracked here a bit, but I think it's all good. So we show we went over how to edit the website. Right. So you figure out how you can edit the website and move things around. And another thing. OK, before I go there, I just want to do one more thing. Right. When you download your website, one of the things that you want to do, you can just go to settings, general. General is like basic settings where you just go change your site title, right? So I can say this is the title. This is the name of my website, right? Name of my website is Crypto Secret Investor, right? And a tagline, I put my tagline, take advent advantage of an exclusive exclusive crypto of exclusive crypto insights right that could be my my tagline advantage of crypto exclusive insights and if you want ww to be to be your 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 domain you can just click on www dot you know your domain dot com because some of you guys that have expired domain you want to make sure you just want to go through uh you know your website and see which domain have which which link have the most 
power and to set your website as that. And when you set this up, you're just gonna go down and save and everything would be, uh, it, you will get logged out, but you're gonna be able to log back in with your SIM credential. And another thing here, make sure that you set up your, your time zone properly, right? Set up your time zone proper, properly and you know the time, date format, you wanna set it up properly as well. And also, if you're in Europe, people use like the 2015 type of thing instead of the 8 p.m. format. And uh, what else? Start of the week, Monday, right? So these are like the basic things that you want to make sure that you set up before you get going. Another thing is in reading. Reading. Reading, You, if you want to have a specific page, if you want to set up another page as your front page, Right. Let's say you decide to set up the goal page as your front page. You can go here and select the goal page instead of the home page as your home page. Right. And the same as if you want to make your review page as your main, you know, post page, you can do that as well. And uh, another thing is permalink. Permalinks, you go to it. You just want to always make sure that you have uh, your post style is crypto investment insider for slash post name. Some people select the dates like a year, month, and date plus post some post name, right? But uh, preferably you want to have the URL as clean as possible with post name. That's a, a specific preference of mine. If there is, you know, if you have any other reason of doing it differently, just please feel free to do that as well. So this is few uh, edits that you can do on your website to make sure, you know, you just get your website going and another thing, I know, uh, activating your cost uh, or customizing your crypto ticker, right? For the crypto ticker, right now we have selected top 10 companies. So you're going to see the thing scrolling through 10 companies and at a specific speed. Maybe you, you want to change those, right? If you want to change it, just go back to your dashboard. You're going to see the crypto, uh, the crypto section here. You're going to see the widget and you're going to see the widget and then you go to widget and you're going to see the, 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 where is it? Let me go here. Most of the time I'll just suggest you don't have to change anything. You just go to all, all widgets, right? And you see the ticker, you can click on edit. You can click on edit instead of, you know, right now showing 50 points. Let's say you wanted to show only 10 points. You can go to so the top 10 points. Right, select that. What's uh, time, speed time, uh, speed of a thick ticker, right? 100, 0 to 10 to 100. Because, like, this is the specific speed value. If you want it to go slower, maybe you can put 50, right? Let's go ahead and put 50. And uh, another thing is like font colors and things like that. You can adjust those. But another important aspect is currency. If you're in Europe, maybe. He, Euro is the, uh, the primary thing you wanted to set up because if you're looking at it right now, it says dollars. But if you're in Europe, maybe having an Euro is much better, right? But the audience is uh, in America, so you should definitely just leave it on uh, on the US on the US dollar section. You just finish whatever update you want to do and just update it here. And you go back and see your, your ticker is going to be different now it's slow it has 10 companies right a different speed right than the previous one so that's uh the the editing editing your active act, editing and customizing your ticker part and replacing your ticker for we have replacing your crypto ticker or adding a gold and silver ticker right so if you want to uh replace the ticker because you, your website is about gold uh, your, about, about gold and crypto, right? Because you're doing all in one website. You can have this and, you know, this is a crypto ticker. You can add a crypt, another crypto tick, uh, add the gold and silver ticker as well. So you have two tickers or maybe just rem put the gold up here and downstairs, you know, you have the down here, you know, you have the crypto. So you can just put the gold above, right? So if you want to add it, I have, I have the code here. And I'm going to share with you as well in the PDF. So this is the section, right? The section that we have for 
the ticker, I can go ahead and just edit, right? Like, I mean, just duplicate, right? Duplicate, and I'm gonna have two sections, right? This and this. And I can go ahead and update the code here with my, you know, my gold and silver code. If I wanna have, have both of them together, right? So, ah, I'm trying to copy the old thing. It's coming in different slides. So I'm gonna make sure I send you the full document so you can just copy it all in one. So I have it here somewhere, right? Boom, boom, boom. No, not here. I have it. No, not here. I have a few of these open. So let me go back in here. Where is it? Okay, so, oh, there it is. Oh, no. Okay, let me, I'm gonna copy it. You're gonna make sure you get the whole thing in one place. So I have my notepad here. I can leverage this for that. All right, I'm gonna add a new note. And I'm gonna go copy the rest, All right? This is the rest. To make sure I get the right code, All right? I'm gonna return, boom and copy everything all in one place and come here and paste, paste, and then save. If I do that, you see now I have two tickers. I have the gold and I have the crypto, right? So if you wanna just remove this one, you can just go ahead and remove the crypto, right? And we have the crypto removed. The crypto is removed and we can go ahead and save publish right and now we can go look at our website with a different with the gold taker let me go back here okay where are we right this is not logged in right another browser and you you have the gold taker instead of the crypto taker right so this is uh, another option that if you want to change the taker, that's how you change it. And if you have the gold site, right, this is the gold template, I have it open because I wanted to do it here for people that are asking as well. So you're just gonna go to header, right? You're gonna go to header and you're gonna, this is your header edit section and you can add a new block. A new block, it's an HTML block. You just copy it, you're gonna put it above or below. If you wanna put it above, you put it above the menu bar right and you just go ahead and enter your code here oops it not here not this one let me go back and copy the code da -da -da. copy the code and i'm gonna paste it here boom so i pasted and now we have a gold ticker on our oh it showed at the bottom let me see okay let me just save and see so i suppose to come at the bottom yep there you go we saved it and there it is you know right now it's showing like this on top of our gold our gold bar and we can do some such uh, some adjust some editing as well so let's go back to the header right so we're going to click on it this is what we want to edit we can make it advanced Margin, animation, da -da -da, da -da -da, this is settings. I wanna see where we can, uh, visibility, breaking point, large, medium, blah, blah, blah. Okay, not this one, this is the code box, but this is the box that we wanna edit, the big one, right? The big one, because this is what frames the one with the code, right? I wanna edit the big one, and we wanna make it, um, this is in style, fixed width. We want to make it full width and save so it can take over the full screen. Uh, let's see how that publish. And yeah, this is as, as, as big as you get. So, but it's full screen. Thought it was going to take the old screen, but no. Let's go back to header and edit that. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. Row, full width. Fix, 
fix to do the content fix if default color text color okay background background color color we want to put the background all, all white so we can avoid any type of uh any type of uh the background stuff that we were scrolling and seeing right so it's white and we can save that that's for white right yep i think so six six f's yeah so guys i don't want to make this video long so let's see how our changes done publish so so we can scroll through it and then there is nothing in our background you remember when we when i started scrolling there was this thing happening and you could see this color in the background now we make the background white and no, nothing shows behind it so we have our ticker on top of our page and everything is beautiful so let's let's move forward what's the next thing here delete five this is very important delete all the content that came with your template delete all the content that came with your template because you don't want duplicate content everybody that is every person that is downloading this template would get these uh these articles and all these articles was previously posted on uh on the website crypto investment insider so you don't want no duplicate content so what you're gonna do you're gonna go ahead on your dashboard on your post section or post right now we have about 20 you select all of them and move to trash move to trash in the meantime like move to trash the edits i did that i did not do this first i wanted to show you guys how you can lay out things uh when it was doing the edits right so we applied it error moving to trash i think i clicked on it twice let's see move to trash it's already been moved maybe i clicked it twice let me just refresh and see everything is in trash and you're gonna go to trash and delete permanently right delete empty trash permanently and all the articles will be gone but what you have is you still have if you go back to your website you all the articles are gone but you still have your blocks that you can edit all right you can do the same edits that we went through right like gold you know you're gonna have your gold your crypto crypto you're gonna have a crypto this is the section that's gonna be there and the filters already set up and stuff so you don't have to worry about anything but you want to delete the content so next thing that we're gonna do is posting i want this video to be less than an hour and i hope it is i think so it's maybe 40 40 40 minutes or maybe more right so next thing is like how you post an article right you post an article it's very simple right? this is your on your website here just gonna go to dashboard and you go to post or post you don't have a post you're gonna add a new post and this is it the post right now I have a couple of articles on, on that I have on Tower theme and we have to like we have uh the content marketplace please don't buy anything on here yet because we are still working on it it's not open for for sale yet you're gonna see the articles you can just look at it but it's not available for purchase yet so every article that you purchase by the way is going to be unique content the minute you purchase it it gets taken out of the this the system so nobody else purchased the same thing but here i have this article right this article that I want to post. We have a posting feature within Tower Theme, and you can you just have to enter your URL URL here, and you'll be able to post the article instantaneously to your platform. And when you buy the when you buy the content, you'll be able to see the content. Right now, I have some dummy content here, right? So if you open this, you'll be able. This is all dummy content, but if you was to buy an article. You'll be able to edit everything, add your anchor taxes, link to your affiliate uh, affiliate uh, links, add your affiliate links and all that stuff and save. And then you would be able to 
Okay, let's go back here. You'll be able to just go here, click on edit or publish. Let me just use my, use this link here. I can go right now, you know, we don't have any posts, right? So I'm going to go post this. I'm going to just go put it here, crypto investment insider and click on submit post. I can post it right away or I can schedule it. I can schedule it to be posted later on in the future, but I'm going to publish it right away. So I just put it in and I publish it good. On the 30th, I can see that I posted this article. This is the title on my website. If I go back on my website, I'll be able to see what I posted. It's a dummy article, something that I'm going to delete. But we deleted all the posts, but the dummy article that I just posted is here. And I can click and see the full article, the full article that I have. And once you post now, that's where the next step comes in, right? You're going to go ahead and open your article, right? And you can just put it in the right category that you want to put it right now. It's it post us and categorize. If I want this to be a crypto review, I can put it, put it on crypto review and just updates. And it's going to go show on my homepage as the recent posts, right? Recent posts. That's the filter that you have on your homepage. All the recent posts would show on your homepage, right? So this is it. It shows up here and then this on my another filter what did we select what what filter did i select i don't remember let me see well what we, we selected a filter right let me see da, 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 da. Okay, what filter did i crypto review crypto review let's go select it let's add crypto as well right so it's on crypto and crypto review could be a crypto article and it's a crypto article review so it's here this is the crypto review section and if i refresh you're going to see it here as well on my crypto section there we go so this is how you post an article one way to post an article with our theme if you get an art article on our theme but if you get an article out of the market uh if you get an article written you know in a different way you can post it as well and this is how you do that you're going to go to post, add new post, right? And you open this, this new section here on Gutenberg, right? And you can just put the article title, right? Imagine if you, if you want to do it manually also, you can do it from the articles you purchase on Tower Theme. You just go click on download, right? Like I'm going to go click on here, download the article. So I download the article for 69 zip. And it comes with uh, three files in there and we're working on the regular articles going to have a schema article as well so what is on here you're going to see the featured image the two featured image and then the text doc right you open the text doc right now it's a dummy content right but if it was on dummy content you're going to see the right uh, the right content that you have gotten and you can i'm lost in all those pages yeah new posts you can just come in add your post here this is your post content and your title what's the title of our content let's let me go see it da, 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 da. here the title is yada 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 this All right it's dummy content All right uh and i'm gonna go back here and add my post this is my title and i want to make sure my perm permalink is set up properly right and if I want to yeah, add the categories, I can add my categories here, right? If there's a picture, if I want to add a picture somewhere in the middle, here, I just go on, there's a plus sign, and you just go click on the plus sign here, and you want to add a picture, it's a video, heading, whatever it is. If you're in a browse, you can see more things that you can add. But if it's a picture, you're going to go ahead and upload the picture in our zip file, we have this picture, we can go ahead and add it. It's supposed to be the other one, but the other one is blank. So we're gonna have the same featured image, right? So we have that, it's done. And we're gonna just make sure we have a, a, featured, a featured image, right? We're gonna have our featured image as well as that. Add it, right? And then we publish. 
and after we publish you can go view our article right so this is our article published with our featured image with whatever we have here and it shows us a latest book on our later posts here as well so i think we covered a lot in this video and you know if you have any theme setup related issue questions feel free to post it in the tower team facebook group or in the crypto without risk facebook group and we'll always be there try to help you as much as we can to get you going as fast as possible and not have to get stopped and wait at the roadblocks so i know this is a long video but i hope i hope it got uh it got the job done i wanted to give you guys this video mainly so you can have a better understanding of the template and how to move around in it and if you have questions post it below this video and keep building you guys are really in for a trip you guys are pouring their hearts into this and it's exciting for me to be part of it you know for myself to be part of it and just witnessing all this happen to all of you guys keep on building and stay safe bye bye take care